take us back. How did we even get here in the first place? It was at the uh, rally that all of this happened, isn't it? P perhaps we take a step back uh, from, from that rally and uh, we've been listening to you uh, based on the analysis and the proceedings as we've had it uh, in court over the last, what, one hour plus where the arguments have been made forcefully by uh, lawyer Thadi sorry. And so before the October 12, which is the date of this rally, which uh, drew the attention of the entire nation to a possibility of a showdown or development in Parliament, we know that the EC's notice of poll and the development within the respective parties had been laid bare. Those were crystallized or were made factual mm. by the Electoral Commission's notice of poll, which detailed these four uh, seats, which uh, I believe you've, you've gone through mm. already. I mean, Fee Central, Gunawes, uh, and, and the likes, Fomena, uh, and then one more just escaping me briefly. Mm. And so the Electoral Commission's notice of poll sort of accentuated the fact that these members of parliament were not returning on the ticket of the party that brought them into the eighth parliament, mm. which sets this ball into action. Haruna Idrisu at a campaign ground in Tamale on October 12th mounted the podium and said, look, we're going for the majority status because three uh, members from the caucus of, of the NPP, the former mm. uh, MP inclusive, which forms a majority in parliament, they've mm. lost their, their position by virtue of their decision to want to, to, want to go uh, independent or switch to, to the camp of the NPP. After that announcement, uh, we know in anticipation of the return of the house, the then, I don't know if then majority leader is an appropriate word yeah, to at use, the time but he was. At, at the time he was, Martin, yeah. at the time he was. So Alexander Peño Markin, he uh, preempted uh, the, the, the sitting of parliament, went to the Supreme Court aiming to arrest what was expected to be a motion mm. by Haruna Idrisu. After that, uh, Parliament, we know, resumed sitting. Haruna attempted. Uh, the majority leader then, Apenyo Markin, drew the attention of the House to the fact that this and this was the case. He had filed uh, a case at the Supreme Court seeking interpretation of the specific provisions mm. of, 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 the, of the Constitution upon which the Speaker was going to use as a basis to declare these mm. seats vacant. We, we know and that. Also, key among what he was seeking the court to do was to injunct the speaker from even going ahead to declare the seats vacant because he had sensed that if it does happen, the minority then, the NDC, were going to be a majority. Absolutely. So he was asking for two things, the court to interpret what the constitution says and then also the speaker to be stopped, if even he has the power to be stopped. 